This is 48XX Springfield Avenue. Here we have a small bathroom with a exhaust fan and light. That was probably the original. In the current installation there's also a heater on the three function ceiling fixture. However the original wiring was only uh, black, white, red and equipment ground. So you had a neutral for return current, you had a switched black for the light, well a switched black for the exhaust fan, a switched red for the light, and a safety ground. So a total of four wires, only two of which can switch a load. Now at some point someone added a third function, the heater, and because there was no conductor they used the bare ground wire for the neutral and moved the white over to the switch. The top position is probably the light. So they're using a white conductor as a hot switch to the light and they're using a ground as a neutral. A bare wire carrying current. That's a safety issue and we're going to abandon the heater function, move the white back over to neutral and use the ground for a ground. Now I discovered this, changing a GFCI that had been wired incorrectly. The connections were to the load side of the device so that its GFCI function was not engaged. I believe that modern GFCIs will not operate from the load side whereas this older device uh, apparently does allow the plug-in receptacle to actually be energized from the load side terminal. So because this is so old the device is probably good even though it as installed was not tripping, tripping with the test button or a test uh, external tester if we wire it correctly it would probably work but because it's so old I think it's worth just replacing with our new device which also because we're below five foot six inches is a tamper resistant you can see that because it says TR and will be somewhat difficult to plug plugs into because it has shutters that require both prongs to engage parallel and simultaneously which makes it difficult for a child to stick something in just one side they would have to use both hands and have two similar prongs and push at the same time in order to make a circuit that could shock them